Hi. Um, they've asked uh, two of us to get up here and say something about the ministry of uh, Pastor Fred and Nisi, and they chose Paul because he is the patriarch and uh, he's very eloquent. And they chose, uh, they needed someone to express in tears uh, <laughs> what your ministry has been. And so it was either me or Bob Cush, and I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but why would Bob and I be moved to tears uh, as we express our thanks? Uh, and it's because you've been here for us. You've been through everything with us. Um, you've had an incredible impact on our lives. And we are changed people because of your leadership, example, and your words. You have held the gospel out to us for 35 years, and the gospel changes people. Amen. We are changed. Everyone here is changed because of your ministry. For 35 years, you have shared your compassionate wisdom and faith in the humblest possible way. With your finger pointed up to God the whole time. It's him, it's all him. And you remind us of that all the time. You both believe, you both, Nisi and Fred, you both believe God and his power to work in and through this body of believers, this broken group of people, to build a church fit to raise your own family in, and to shine the spotlight on Jesus. As you've taught us about membership, you and Nisi were willing to put your reputations on the line when you came to this church to be uh, bound to this church, to make you trusted God, to make something of us. This was a dwindling, broken group of believers when you arrived and you believed in the power of God and in the power of the gospel, and I thank you for that. I and my family, we're a product of the gospel of Jesus Christ and of the ministry of this church and the ministry of Fred and Nisi Lampley. All of us here have been blessed by the words, the leadership, and the example of the Lampley family. Fred, you've married us, you've buried us. Nisi, you have celebrated with us, you have cried with us. You've held our babies, you've walked beside us, you've shepherded us, you have prayed with us, and you've prayed for us. Hebrews 13 says, consider your leaders who speak the word of God to you, and the outcome of their way of life, imitate their faith. Between 1,500 and 2,000 sermons that you have preached, between 1,500 and 2,000 sermons, Jesus said, out of the overflow of their hearts, their mouth speaks. And you have consistently shown through 1,500 sermons and through everyday conversation what is in your heart. And we thank you for that because it is a heart of compassion and a heart of love, and you've touched us all. We thank you for that. You have raised us and become a healthy church, so we're even, we're even prepared and a fit church to receive the Bray Nine family, and that's a gift that you've given us all, and we thank you for that. Second, uh, 1 Timothy 5.17 says that elders who direct the affairs of the church well are worthy of double honor, especially those whose work is preaching and teaching. You have directed us well. For it easy, it is impossible to express how grateful we are for you and how deeply we love you and we honor you doubly. You are worthy of honor as faithful ministers of the gospel and as our preaching pastor. Leviticus 19.32 tells the Israelites to rise in the presence of the elder. Brethren, you see, we rise in your presence, not just because you are now elderly, but because you are worthy of double honor. Can you please rise with